Welcome to Summit Awesome Games, good looking people, my name is Rob. In this video we're going to be looking at the Philips Hue Play Bar Lights, which were sent by Philips. If you know me, I am addicted to Philips Smart Lights. And I asked them nicely if I could get my hands on these, and they, they allowed it. So, now I'm going to have a look at these bad boys. I'm going to show you how they work with gaming, and how maybe you can improve your stream using these guys. Now the first thing you need to know about Philips Hue products is that you need a bridge. This is a separate purchase, which might put some people off, but trust me, it's worth it because it creates a mesh Zigbee network, which means if your Wi-Fi is a bit spotty, that's okay. Your lights are still gonna be able to be controlled. So with these play bar lights, we can lie them down. They've got a nice grip on the back and you can kind of like flick which side you want it on. You can add a little stand, which is what I'm going for, a vertical stand, or you can mount them to the back of your TV using the supplied mount and sticky stuff. Doesn't work so much on my TV as I don't have the space on the right side. The left side's fine, but if I stick it on the right side, it's gonna be a little bit more central than would look nice. Now the power block can actually have three lights plugged into it at the same time. So that's a nice room saver. Just plug one thing in and three lights are going and you can get extension cables so you can stretch the lights out across the room. Now playing games at night with these bad boys is ridiculous, but it takes a little bit of effort to actually get them to work in sync with what you're seeing on your TV. The biggest off-put for you might be the fact that you'll need a computer to be relaying your TV screen. So you'll need a laptop actually hooked up to your TV. So your laptop is what's creating the sync. So anything on your laptop screen or computer screen is what creates the light sync. So for console games, this means you're gonna need a capture card from the console to your laptop and then your laptop to your TV. If you have all these things, then you are ready to go. What you'll need to do is you add your lights to your Philips Hue app on your phone, create a room for them, I've created a TV room, create an entertainment area, once again, name the TV, set the height. They now have ground, TV, and ceiling height. So you wanna get your lights set and then put them where you want. Now keep in mind, you can have many lights in an entertainment area, not just these two, I'm showing off just these two, but I would whop in my ceiling light and a couple of lights on the side as well. So it'd be very immersive, but for this, we're just doing the two lights. Then on our laptop, we need to get the Hue Sync program and then run that, pick our entertainment area, sync up our bridge if we haven't already, which you might not have if you're new to this. Then you have a few options. You've got scene, you've got game, which is whatever. If you're playing a computer game, you can make your computer game sync up very nicely. Music, if you're playing music, the lights will flash to the beat with a choice of your colors that you want lights to be. Then what we're doing is video. So anything appears on the screen will be synced to the lights and you can adjust your screen size. So let's say if you're watching a movie with black bars, you can adjust it so you cut out the bars. That way your lights aren't a little diffused from the blackness. Once you've done all that, start the sync up and your lights will sync to whatever you're watching or playing. If you're relaying a game through it, so now when you're playing a your game and explosions are going off, the room will be flashing, everything will be going crazy. It's incredibly immersive and it's so hard not to be excited by anything you play. So that's how we set this up to actually play games in our living room or maybe next to your computer. Well, what about with streams, man? You said something about streams. So this is my stream room. I got a blackout blind and I got a desk light that is a huge strip around there. What I have been looking for is actual face lights. So I've been looking at a competitor product, which was pretty pricey, and I was like, oh, okay, I need two of them. Then these bad boys come out, and I was like, that's a, that's a box with two of them in it for half the price of one of this other thing. So now we got this set up. So here is what you would see when I'm streaming, and I'm a little dull. This is the light at 1%. Noticeable difference, even at 1%. Now if we bump it up, now you can see my hobo face for the day. And with the Hue app, of course, I can adjust the color of these. So maybe I'm looking a little bit pale. Maybe I'm looking like a little ghost kid that doesn't get enough sun. I can orange those lights up a bit, add a bit of tan going on. Then everyone goes, he's a healthy looking guy. He gets some sun. So if you're a streamer, these are something you might want to actually look into getting just for lighting your stream setup, or if you're a gamer, get them because they are ridiculously cool and all your friends will want to play games at your house. The next step that we'll take 
is now that we've got our TV and we've got our stream set up nicely, is uh, your yard, backyard, right? Who doesn't want to play games in their backyard and let their neighbors know that World War Three is kicking off and just looking insane? I know I do, and I will.